Otherwise, Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I got a pretty cool video for you guys. This is a guide to improving your PC gaming experience. So this is not going to make you go from low crisis settings to um, extra high, but this is just going to help you guys get a better picture and better FPS on a game, or just a couple extra. So just small tweaks here. The first category is optimizing your programs. So unlike an Xbox 360 or PS3, your PC still runs Windows while you're playing the game. So um, there are different things like Turbo Mode, which kind of um, eliminates resources you don't need. You can also do this manually. So what you want to do is make sure you have all your programs closed. Nothing like Google Chrome or BitTorrent open. Those programs can really slow down the PC gaming experience. If you go in Task Manager, you can see exactly what is running and what your current um, CPU, memory, and disk percentages are. You want them as close to zero as possible. A lot of times computers idle at about 1% or 2%, so you may not be able to achieve 0%, but you still want it as low as possible. For example, as you can see, Google Chrome uses a lot, so I'd want to close Google Chrome before I open the game. Same with Camtasia Studio Recorder, so, but I am recording, so I'm not going to close that, obviously. If you're not sure if you should close a certain resource, the best way to find out is simply Google search it. A lot of websites have uh, a dictionary basically of resources and they tell you if it's safe to close it or not. If you open the resource monitor, you can find out what's using your network. You want your network as low as possible, especially if you're playing an online game. If you're playing an online game like Battlefield 3 where you have 30 plus people in a lobby, having a downing a torrent while you're doing that is a really slow down your game a lot and lag you a lot you may even disconnect so we make sure that you have nothing that uses the internet open it's also a good idea as well to make sure your disk is low percentage and your ram if your ram is cleared more of the game can be loaded onto your ram and then running from the ram is much faster than running from the disk Next topic is upgrading your graphics card driver. I suggest this for everyone. Um, it's pretty simple to do as well. So first thing you need to know is what kind of graphics card you have. If you already know, you can skip about 30 seconds into the video. But if you don't, all you have to do is just go to your start menu or start screen. Type in device manager. Open that up. And what you want to do is just underneath display adapters, click the little arrow. And it'll tell you exactly what graphics card you have. Me, I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 670. I'll all the links below to either Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA drivers. So you can go below and click on them. But for me, I'll go to the NVIDIA one. And you can either manually type it in or it will search for you. But manually typing it in is just as easy. So go GeForce, 600 series, 670. Choose your operating system, English, and then click search. It will give you the latest driver available. Updating your drivers can usually give you a 5 to 20% boost on the latest games. Next, we have tweaking your game settings. So, a lot of game settings are pretty easy to understand. Some are like texture quality, so low, medium, high. The best way to, pick, um, to get your good game settings is just play with them. Play with them until your system can handle it. Here are some hard to understand ones. Anti-aliasing is a type of method to eliminate jagged edges, smooth things out. So it has one, usually one X to 16 times. So what you want to do is try out one. If it works fine, put up a little bit, put up a little bit, put up a little bit till it kind of lags. Um, the filtering method there is all about the per, per, in, improving the texture and quality of games. So what you want to do there, if you're not a big deal to you though, turn it off. Super sampling is a big GPU killer, but it makes your screen look much nicer. But if you don't need it, turn it off. Um, basically what it does is, let's say you're running at 1920 by 1080, it, re it will render it at a higher resolution than that, and then compress it to your resolution. It makes the jagged edges go away, and it looks much nicer. A program like NVIDIA GeForce Experience optimizes your game settings for your system using um, online directory. So 
basically it looks at your system looks at the game and adjusts it so you get the best picture and best fps for your system last is upgrading the parts so here's the most important parts for your um gaming experience gpu is obviously the most important rendering the picture cpu is also important if you're playing a game and your cpu is at 100 percent odds are your cpu is actually capping your game so upgrading your cpu is a good idea hard drive isn't too too important but a hard drive will allow you to obviously store the game and if you have a new if you have a fast solid slate drive your game will load faster RAM is basically the memory that the game gets put to when it's loaded. If you don't have enough RAM, then the game has to be stored on your hard drive while it's being played. This can really slow down the game. So if you have enough RAM, the game can go on the RAM and that allows for the game to load really fast. So usually 8, eight gigs of RAM is good enough for games. Off the guys, GPU is the most important. Having good amount of memory on your GPU is well important. Anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you did, leave a like below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. And, of course, leave your opinion below on why I mentioned the video. I hope you guys do enjoy. And subscribe for some more awesome computer tutorials. This is the Hacker Triple 07, and I'm signing off.